Welcome to DQ's series on online multimedia and accessibility featuring Glenda Sims, Senior Accessibility Consultant with DQ. When I first, first started using the web, the majority of the content was text and pictures. It was a long time ago. But today's web is full of rich media, especially video. And as we're looking at the accessibility of video, we have to keep two things in mind. Not only does the video need to be accessible with captioning and audio description, but the players need to be accessible as well. What do I mean by an accessible video player? I mean a player that can be used by a person who is using a keyboard alone, who may not be able to use a mouse and also a video player that is accessible to screen reader users so that people who are visually impaired can actually control, turn the video on and off and adjust the volume. By making these components accessible, we give equal access to all the important information that we're now distributing via multimedia on our websites. For more information, head to dq.com slash CVAA to read our free white paper on the 21st Century Communications and Accessibility Act.